You can add Chipotle to the list of companies facing the challenge of employees looking to form a union. Workers at a restaurant in Augusta, Maine, petitioning the Federal Labor Board for a union election. A local newspaper says the workers walked out last week to protest staffing issues. A Chipotle spokesperson says the company immediately started hiring new people and retraining existing workers. And she also says Chipotle respects their employees' rights to file under the National Labor Relations Act. This is the first Chipotle to seek unionization. We've seen similar movements, though, at Starbucks, Amazon, and Apple. We know there are concerns about the combination of minors and social media. Well, now Instagram is testing something new to verify a person's age. The social site teaming up with a company that specializes in online age verification and ensuring users' privacy. Users can upload a video selfie, and tech, uh, technology estimates their age based on facial features. Insta's parent company says this would help provide age-appropriate experiences to teens. The site could default them to private accounts, prevent chatting with unknown adults, and also limit advertising. Insta says the photo will be deleted once the user's age has been verified. Right now, the service is still in the testing phase. All right, this could be a delicious summertime treat or something very, very not, depending on your taste buds. We're talking about ketchup-flavored popsicles. It's like a scene out of Tommy Boy. The condiments company French's created the limited edition snack. It's described as having a savory tomato flavor balanced with a hint of salty sweetness. They're only available over in Canada right now, but they're getting attention on both sides of the border like any great gimmick. Just make sure a woman in white gloves doesn't end up with, you know, trying one of these. Woman in white gloves? The ketchup popsicles aren't French's first interesting food combo. It's also whipped up, you remember, mustard ice cream and mustard beer. Yummy. Netflix now scrambling to cut costs and boost revenue. The streaming service is laying off more than 300 people, which is about 3% of its workforce. In April, Netflix lost subscribers for the first time in more than 10 years. Meantime, multiple sources report the company is going to start testing a lower price subscription that comes with commercials. It's not clear yet when that service would start, but it could be available before the end of the year.